Hello, I'm the Commander Xander. I remember it so the Stairs Critic doesn't have to. And neither should you. Well, it's October, kiddies, and you know what that means. It's time for ghoulish specials and scary movies, as well as freakishly horrifying shows. As it's time yet again for the month of Halloween. And we're starting off this year's month of Halloween with a mid 90s cartoonish, claymated type. Well, let's just say it's a scary movie, a Toy Story, kind of. And call it Bumpin' the Night, because that is exactly the name of the show. And it looks like a horrifying, terrifying. That's Bumpin' the Night? That doesn't look anything scary. Well, in any case, it was a mid-90s show that was on for, like, one season, maybe two, I don't know. It was on for two years, all I know. And, yeah, it's supposed to be Halloween themed, but we'll see if it makes any sense for you. Let's start the month of Halloween right with Bump in the Night. And fittingly, we get the intro right off the bed. Okay, right off the bed. Two comments about the theme song. One, what the fucking hell? But on the other side, it's a catchy theme. It doesn't spell. It doesn't spell out scary or horrifying. But hey, if you don't mind, little rockabilly, you're okay with this. This, of course, is the main character, Mr. Bumpy. Along with his doll friends. Now you see why I call it the terrifying version of Toy Story. In this episode, Mr. Bumpy and his friend. Oh, brother. Are you sure you're a people pleaser? Because you look like you have a defected arm. Your eye is missing a lash. And let's be frank. The the the, the 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 hairdo just needs to be like redone. Look, there it is. Okay, I think I'm gonna be sick. He's obsessed with a big pile of tissues. Why? Because the kitty that sleeps in the bed is sick. And by sick, I mean she's got the cold. She's been sick for a week, running me ragged. Molly, this, Molly. Well, you are a ragged doll, so you kind of just summed yourself up in a nutshell. That Molly to the rescue. When she's better, I'm taking a vacation. You know, if you plug your ears when you sneeze hard, your head blows up and your brain splatters all over the place. Is that really true? Your brain splatters if you hold your sneeze like this? I can't sneeze right now. Observate. Kid, I hope not. No wonder why he's losing life. Seriously, what's so great about a pile of tissues anyways? Uh, thank you. <coughs> Molly, where are you? Oh great, duty calls. Watch this. And you'll see why this is a Toy Story wannabe. Even though this actually aired before Toy Story. Watch this. Just like Woody, or Buzz. And watch what she does to the doll. My only bestest friend. Wow, some life you live if your doll is your only bestest friend in the whole wide world, yet you're upset because apparently there's some party that you're not going to be able to make because now you're sick. Guess how she uses the doll to help cure her booger problem. No, mom won't let me go to Sisley's party, so I'll make up my own party. Oh, good for you. Fun. Okay, that would fall under the definition of molesting a doll. Why the hell would you use a doll as a tissue? She runs out of tissue, so she calls for Molly. Molly just happens to be there. Okay, pick her up. Treat her like a tissue. That's not how you treat a toy. Toys should be treated respectfully. Because we toys can see everything. I can't really do like Woody, but you get the idea. And then throws her away. What the hell? What kind of a... Yeah, I know I'm soft and absorbent, but 
but I wish I weren't always just... You're not really soft and absorbent. You're... Holy fucking shit. Um, some male doll is calling for his uh, hooker mate. Asking for you. Meanwhile, is he seriously eating the tissues? Ew. Okay. So then he goes underneath the bed, and now he's playing with what's left of the tissues. Enter the doll. Okay. I'm sensing a Beetlejuice theme here. Oh, great. Mr. Bumpy's not too thrilled that the two girls are talking away. Gee, and I thought these weren't the brightest of bulbs. They figure out that he wants to hang out with those two because... Well, have you seen those two compared to his other doll friend? What a messed up life this is. Seriously, he's gotta be high or something. For a freaking monster-ish? Hell, Willy could probably get into this crap because he had to be fucking high to get this stuff. What the hell's going on here? Meanwhile, in the toilet... You're not gonna go to that Dollsville party, are you? <laughs> of course I'm going, Mr. Bumpy. Oh, it'll be divine. You like my ducks? Holy... Doll lover! My pal Squishy is a doll-loving doll lover! Okay, don't need to say doll lover when you say doll loving. You can't say doll love as both an adjective and a noun. Pick one or the other. He's a doll lover. Get it? Now, aren't you a doll lover since you seem to be hooking up with those two beauties over there that are Barbie wannabes? The whole Why is he upset? He's probably jealous because he's not getting invited and Mr. Tuxedo Monster is. And as he does that, INCOMING! Fifty bucks as he still opens a fucking box. Uh, oh, it's baby dolls. Poorly animated baby dolls piling up. Oh great. He's swimming in baby dolls. When you get back. You can ask Squishy, because I'm not going. Squishy's now he's refusing to come. What did I do in a previous life to deserve this? I'm sure you'll both have a delightful time. She seems thrilled. Ish. Great about dressing up like a penguin and drinking boiled tweets. I'd rather be boiled alive in a deep fryer. Wait, you rather be boiled alive than drink boiled twigs? I'd rather take the twigs. At least I'm not losing a limb or something. Unless I'm a cat and have to lose one of my lives, in which case I'll take the boiling. Meanwhile, at the secret base. Oh, for crying out loud, he's still complaining about what he'd rather be as opposed to going to that party. Let's move on. Where we see him flying with the doll whore. That's nothing. See this eye? Third one this week. Her mom finally started sewing them on with steel wire. Now she has to get one with an eyelash, and then you're really in good shape. No thanks. Good lord, how long do they have to fucking fly? Okay, that fucking lie. They drop, they land. Great dramatic effect, and guess who happens to be down there in. Um, how long is this, like, bottom? Because they've been falling for, like, 30 seconds. you think they'd be flattened by now. This is, like, some kind of abyss or something. An abyss of love! Oh. Go figure. Meanwhile... They transition into some video game graphics to explain what's the problem. 
slavery to unscrupulous foreign toy mills. <laughs> oh, great. Channeling his inner carbon before carbon existed. He's going to try and convince Mr. Tuxedo to not go to the party so he can go to the party in his place so he can be with the two doll mates. Sick, twisted fiend. Is it true? No. Now. Party. Now he's channeling his inner blue. I'm a zit! Damn it! I tell you, I am like, I am so totally. Wait, he doesn't want to hang out with these two? How do you breathe in this monkey suit, Squishy? Look at you in those candy ass monkey suits. How do you breathe in this thing? Look, I'm wearing one and I'm. Well, not really. I'm just wearing the suit. But you get the idea. I'm breathing fine. <laughs> oh, baby, <nah. laughs> it's not a this is called socializing, kitties. Get used to it, because you got to do a lot of that when you grow up. <laughs> now he's channeling his inner cookie monster. Uh, not really. Good tasting. How could you taste that toy cookie? Ugh. Can you imagine if Cookie Monster ate the toy cookies? He wouldn't have spit it out because, for crying out loud, it looks like a fucking cookie. Of course he's going to eat it. Because we're toys. Moving on. I'll tell you what the secret plans are. Okay, I got a sneaky suspicion that the people responsible for Pee-wee's in charge of this because the claymation seems awfully similar to Pee-wee. Oh, by the way, they redid her hair. Dead silence! When does the party start? Great party! There's no talking once a fucking ever! And oh, by the way, there's only two guys and five girls! So what, are they gonna each get two and a half mates? They're nowhere close to what the others are getting. It started about a million years ago. This is it. Told you it'd be fossilized. <laughs> Dude, prunes, anyone? Ew! I know, goodbye. Oh, oh, brother. Goodbye, now he's faking his own death because of the party being so boring. No. Oh, brother. What? That was a weird transition. We then go to Karaoke Cafe. Where he rips on Alice Cooper's schools out. Transition into another song that's a little more... Well, maybe not. Still schools out. And then that's the end of the show. Well, that was interesting. That's putting it lightly. I mean, what's not to like about it? It's a bunch of claymation people. It's a spooky theme. But there's really no sense of direction. I can see why this lasted for only two years. Where does this go? There's like a million things going on all at once and you don't get through all the characters and you forget some and move on from the others and it's like... There's no sense of direction. There's a lot of promising characters but no sense of direction. But if you're willing to get over this stuff, this is decent enough to enjoy. I don't know if kids might enjoy this. Maybe if you're like in the tween years, maybe. Um, as an adult, you'll be stoned and liking this, but otherwise, yeah, not going to be like your great pumpkin, Charlie Brown, but it's, it's not a bad attempt. It's just not that great. And there's potential for this, but if you're willing to get over it, check out Pump of the Night. There's plenty to enjoy, sort of, from this. I'm the Commander Xander, and the month of Halloweener has just begun.